So, um, so in the next stage, we want to talk about what will build a brand as a brand. So, do, do, do you, each one of you went through the process, so you identify your strengths, your weaknesses, and we should be able to discuss how to build your brand and to make an impact. So one biggest advantage is when you have a brand is you should be able to pay back. And pay back usually is through volunteering. And um, if you want to pay back or give back to the society, it helps you in trying to identify really what the value of your brand. So if you go to page 43, So we need to clarify here the unique values, strengths, passion, and purpose that give you a great directions. So if you want to give back as an opportunity or if you want to show uh, a potential give back, are you showcase your strengths? Are you develop a new skills? Are you align your values? Are you employ your passion? Or are you fulfill your purpose? So if I assume you have a, you have a, an organization or somebody you want to volunteer for to give back based on your brand. So are you showing your strengths? Like if somebody would be a good accountant and his strength is accountant, he can volunteer for an organization to do accounting for them. Or someone wants to understand how the operation of not-for-profit. So he will volunteer to try to develop a new skills. So sometimes in our strengths, we miss one or two skills. Like for example, I don't have uh, computer skills. What can I do? I can volunteer for an organization and try to help them with their computer problems so they can teach me computer and I can practice. Sometimes, um, you can do this to try to align with your values or employ your passion or fulfill your purpose. So if you'd like to volunteer and give back to an organization, which one of these you want to use to give back in an opportunity? So you should say yes or should mark check mark in the areas where you want to give back. Now we go to page 44. So which skills or strengths you would like to, to showcase or, you, or which skills you will be missing that you would like to build? Then with number one, you go to values. What causes might connect with the values that you were top of your list. Sorry, what might what causes might connect? And then 
if you move forward, you say what type of cause or organization might connect with the roots of passion you identify. And the following one will be what might move you toward your internal vision. And the last one, what is your goal for an, intern for an internship or a job that you would like to have when you graduated from this course or from this class? And to have some guidance how to fill these units, you should look at example one. So, for example, somebody's skills and strengths will be relationship building. The values he has is respect, excellence, discipline, caring for others, generosity. He has passion for animals or pets. His first job out of school will be working with a healthcare organization, working on developing therapies that helps people. And his purpose will be to lead nation, national initiatives that influence the, provi the provision of alternative health care services to underserved or disadvantaged people. Potential organizations he can work with will be ESPCA, local not-for-profit veteran, Seeing Eyes, Dog Society, not-for-profit not clinic for homeless. The professional role can be welcoming reception, greeting clients, working as a part of a team to make animals issue visible, working across organization, getting them to collaborate. The second model is somebody likes managing people, teaching, and coaching. He values teamwork, winning, competition, opti optim optim optimism, growth, passion to sport and entrepreneurship, uh, goal to work for a consultant firm that has a high-tech startup as a client or working for a startup company, the purpose to launch successful business, and the potential organization will be school, extracurricular sport program, junior achievement, young entrepreneur societies, local small businesses, association, and his potential role will be starting a sports organization at school, teaching and coaching students on junior achievement, managing a small project for an entrepreneurship organization. So this is our, the conclusion of our uh, of this particular workbook. If you can figure out the skills and strengths you have, which we had in the f in yesterday, and the values which you, you can, you have in yourself with your passion, you should be able to identify organizations where you can volunteer for it. And when we identify this organization, what we do? We call up this organization and offer them either our volunteer or our training program, if you have a training program. Does it make sense? Does it make sense to you guys? Yes. Okay. So what you what you may want to do is you may want to go back <coughs> on the same uh, on the same workbook or if you need a, another a, a fresh copy of this workbook let me let us know and you should be able to try to do the exercise seeing now what is the end goal will be Do you see that you can build this kind of of exercise to build a brand So I want to move to the some specifics about the brand. So some of you may got the green sheet before. So So in this green sheet what we talk about is the brand promise. So, do you agree now to, that you would like you are ready to build a big brand? So, we can just read the promise now. You can just read it loud if you want to. All together? Yeah. Yeah. 
on the count of one, two, three. One, two, three. I state your name. Yeah. All everybody in one voice. I Can you shout it out? <laughs> you were so you didn't have any energy, guys. <laughs> now can you I shout it out? Can you energy. shout it out? <laughs> okay. One more, shout out just to get your voice loud, guys. Okay. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. <laughs> I, I have a company. Declare that. I declare that. <laughs> my personal brand, my reputation. Raise your voice, guys. Really have some energy. I am to what I do and how I do it. I'm born to stand out, not to blend in. I stand out by my personal brand. My personal brand is about making my mark by being myself, my best self. I promise to think of my personal brand as my calling card, my unique promise of value. It's what I am known for and how it is me. I'm here to explore what are my unique strengths, skills, and attributes. How do I choose the character that's right for me? What do I want to be known for? The eyes of potential employers, customers, and clients. My aspiration will lead to the following actions and maybe more. I'm committed to take these actions and report to my accountability partner. Yeah, that's good. So if you can now start to write action one or action two based on the first two days. So what actions you will do now? Mm. So you can just write action one and action two. If you have more actions than two, just keep writing. Action steps? Or just action, yeah. Like wh what, what, what the immediate action you'll do. Maybe sometime we'll say I will redo the workbook. Maybe one. Someone will say, I will develop a business plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, just figure out an action relevant to whatever you want to do. The next uh, topic I want to talk about is uh, it will be the immediate step you do once you identify your your go your pa your strengths your passions and your weaknesses. <coughs> it will be what it will be that I will articulate what I can do and offer to others. So tomorrow we will uh, have uh, someone here and he will take uh, video shots. And what will happen tomorrow is you should be standing in front of a video camera for one minute, more or less. And you should be able to articulate what you provide to the, what's your program, what you provide, what you are passionate about. It. Okay. And think about this as a one minute video 
you may host on your website or in your LinkedIn or on your program if you do have one <coughs> to get somebody interested to con contact you or connect with you regarding your service okay so we supposed to talk about what like what is the first thing we should talk about what we do in life do what we, we do, do want to introduce and what our service is what our service what our service or platform is what our product or service is who we are, who we are. why we're doing this what's the purpose of this okay let me try to ask the question a different way I know that. State the problem and what my solution to the problem is. What my service offering is. State so. the problem and what is my solution? What, my solution? what else can it be? What can you say? My strength, my strength, and what I can apply to you. Well, my strength and what can I apply to? How it's valuable to you. Okay. What else? Just a one minute video introduction oh, about yeah. you. About myself, like genuinely or about related to the workshop? It should be related to, to the service you provide oh. or about yourself. Or if you want to go for a position or if you want to be hired by somebody, how you introduce yourself? You can mention about any previous accomplishments or previous experience related to the position that you are applying for. Okay. So, any other source here? Okay. Can can we do the exercise that each one of you will take one page and try to put like five to seven sentences? Try to or attempt to say what they would what they would like to say about themselves in one minute. There are more people here.
You can time yourself. We can <laughs> time you, but uh, we're just trying to figure out what should be said. So, you want to share? Me? You want to stop? Yeah. Okay. Share. Now, this is supposed to be like uh, 90 seconds or one minute? Yeah, yeah, 90 seconds, one minute. Okay, my name is uh, Ned Al Nahawi. I am a professional in the oil and gas industry, uh, but I uh, would like to uh, make a shift in my career life to uh, another career that I'm still looking for. Uh, I have a lot of uh, experience and uh, skills that I can bring with me to the new uh, career. Uh, on a personal level, I'm an educated person, energetic, and willing to learn and grow always. Okay, thank you. Second? Who wants to volunteer second? <laughs> oh, my turn? If you want to be a second. Uh, this is all supposed to be off the, the top of. Oh, really? Off the top. It's all pre rehearsed. This is not a good thing, I was told. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, my name is uh, Terry. I've been on the internet with, uh, like many of you, for the last five years with my own website. One of the things I've noticed about uh, many websites uh, over the years, since the internet has been around, for I don't know how many, four or five decades, close to that, that websites, websites are always trying to communicate. So for one forum, websites use text. And text means a lot of reading on your part. Some websites have used pictures. Well, pictures are prone to some interpretation. Text. Audio is used on websites, which you have to listen to. Then I started to realize one day that video is the ultimate uh, way to transmit an idea through your website uh, using video because it combines all of the above. It combines text, it combines audio, and it combines text, audio, and written text, audio, and pictures. Good thing we're not taping today. So I, through my service, my company called VideoWorks, will offer to cover your story, capture your story, with a video that you can add to your website. This video can talk about what you or your company has done, or what you do. And it's the fastest way to transmit a message across to your audience, is using video on your website. Okay. That's good. Okay. Who wants to volunteer? Who is next? Okay. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Ruby. I'm a very passionate, artistic individual, caring, and would love to be part of your wedding day. To give the confidence, to give you the confidence that uh, you will have your dream day. Attending to every single detail would make a huge difference in the time of your wedding. I would love to be part of your. Uh, I'd love to offer my service and be hired by you. Good. Who's next? <laughs> Mr. P. <laughs> um, I don't think I, I have enough material. It can be 20 sec 10 seconds. Just s s s shout out what you are saying, what you are writing. Well, uh, um, mine would be very close to... Uh, Just say it. I wanted to say it. I wanted to say it. Well, I'm a former professional in the gas industry who has learned a lot about how an oil and gas project is uh, run from start to finish. And my work experience over many years has enabled me with, uh, has equipped me, provided me with transferable skills that I can use as a skill leader in a, um, uh, maybe managing a small team on an oil and gas project or uh, coaching Coaching uh, people who want to who want to acquire or start a small business. Okay. 
Great. You la you last but not least. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'm Heather Cobain. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration, and um, I'm in the middle of the of shifting careers. Um, yeah, I'm taking the steps to uh, to be able to achieve my goal, which is in interior design career. And uh, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be able to reach uh, that goal. Good. <laughs> Did you learn something yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Did you learn something yesterday? Yeah. 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 Why did not apply? Like if I go around the table, I say, ask a simple question. Can you rank or can you accept or will you buy the service of the one who spoke or one who introduced himself? Yeah. You are four on this side against Ken. We are four yeah. against, we are four, you are four against Ned. You are four against Terry, four against uh, Ruby and four against Heather. So. Will this four will buy this service? Like when you listen to Ned, will you want? Would you buy his service? So, what really got me into this because it's your ego is coming back again. Mm -hmm. Why people will buy from you? What are the reasons for people to buy from you? You help them to make money or more profitable, or? Yeah. or Relationship yes. development, that's right? Yes, yes. Which one of the five in, in to intro told and what's our our audience will be ignorant because they don't know us. Mm -hmm. Or if they do know us, they don't know what kind of offer or what kind of program and how we can help them. Mm -hmm. So when you start to talk about me, you will be me only saying for me only. We always talk about you, not me. You remember in uh, yeah. Um, yeah. in uh, rush hour, yeah. he met the guy. He said me. He said you. You remember that? Always remember this scene, because me and you can be names in in uh, Chinese language. Chinese language, right? It's me or you. It's not about me. So it's about you. We have to talk about, about you, yeah. and we have to talk about the value that we provide. That we bring. What you what? If you join my journey, what you will have? Will you have a pleasure? Will you have more money? Will you have a fun? When I go join a journey of a show in a theater, what I will get? I will get either enjoying, I will have, I will laugh more, I will have fun. So when you talk about, w w I am here to serve you. I am here to share with you my experience to empower you or to help you yeah. making more money or attracting Saving more you. or attra attracting more more clients so I talk too much about myself each one of you talk about them. Yeah. each one of you and the least and the least but not last <laughs> was a disaster <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> this know, is a disaster because first you start you start to talk about myself. what kind of degrees i have yeah yeah i know Okay, so this is the first comment. I yeah. think I tried coming close to that. I stated the problem. Yeah. I stated the, the problem. And you made the common, the commonly seen mistake in all engineers. You stated the problem. You stated the alternative solutions and the compatible solution like images and uh, 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 words and audio and what have you. Yeah. But you did not say why yours will be, why you special? You said video will be better, but you did not say why you special. Yeah. And yeah. you never told them, you made them think and link. So when you think and link about what values I will get from that. Yeah. Okay? I gotta close the sale. You, it's not you close the sale. It's if I start from the value, so I will start to completely different. To say, I can make your website rank it higher on Google or having a, a better rank and better visitors experience because I will develop for you a, a video content or a video component which will do one, two, three, four. Attract more visitors, help you making more money. And this video, video introduction is much, much better than any images or audio or uh, text because it's one integrated component. And guess what? People will stay longer on your website. 
and the longer they stay you will rank higher in all, all search engines and they will have more time to experience your, your content my name is Terry click on the link below or send me an email to the email below and looking forward to, to talk to you in person soon yeah it's not that simple I did not I did not I did not know what you are talking about till I listen to you right now yeah. okay yeah. so when you there are few components and this component can be many one one component is what value to them mm. yeah. it's only about you mm -hmm. and at the end you need what we call it CTA or call to action mm. call to action how to connect with me yeah. this is the simplest way to articulate a small intro about you. So when you go around and say, I'm a business coach, and the next guy is a business coach, and the third guy is a business coach, what do you do? What value? Do you agree? Did you hear about, did you know this before? Uh, a little bit. So why did you not apply? Because it's your ego. It's me as engineer who wants to provide the solution. If I look here, uh, in my first attempt, I did not want to write. In my second attempt, I wrote what you, are, what you say. Nobody here mentioned the value to the client. Right. No, like, <clears throat> if you are a project manager, people are not interested in project management skills. People are interested in what? In completing project within or below time on or, below. or and on budget or below. So it's either on time or on budget or less than this. Yeah. And they don't want people to call them back because they have this responsible guy, so they don't want to complain about you. So they, don't, they don't basically offload the work to you. So if you understand it like this from project perspective, pro from project management perspective, you can now articulate what's in your experience, which can do this project management. If you are in procurement, it's the same. If I stand and say, I can, you cannot be every, everything for everybody. So you cannot say, I'm not willing to learn. You can say, I am a team player. Because a team player, will be somebody who accept reflection and reflect as well. Okay? My proven, I've been for 30 years team player. So this is the foundation. This we did not try to play with the super words and all this other stuff, which is if John is around here, he will help us with. But this is the foundation. So my foundation is what you do for me. Why do I want to listen? So why people want to listen to you? For three reasons. You can help them making more money. How? By attracting more customers, by closing more deals. That's right. Or by making their work efficient. Or by increasing their revenue. People want to have uh, personal development by being a better person, having a better experience, having uh, uh, accepting facts in life, move through hard time, move through uh, difficult times in their life or relationship and dating which is I can help I can help you enjoy a relationship or I can show you how to celebrate a relationship because your maybe wedding stuff is a celebration of a relationship what you Why you don't say I? I can I, I can. Just one minute. One minute. Just sorry. sorry. I can create a mem uh, memorable, a memorable ceremony that you and everybody will not forget by providing a unique decorations or a unique fixtures 
which will transform your wedding from anyone wedding to everybody remember wedding or everybody remember, remember this so okay <laughs> and I don't know if this will sell you or not don't get me wrong guys remember marketing and branding are assumptions reduced to practice and when they perform we are happy if they don't perform why what we do try to fix them to get the performance we like when we can prove any of these messages will work better when we try them out how do we try them out there are so many techniques one of them is to craft two or three messages build the two or three videos and then what you do send the videos to your Facebook walls or your friends and say hey guys which one do you like the better the best if you don't have if you don't have more than one message it's great get the message share it with your friends first with your with your follower with your uh, uh, mastermind groups with your fellows and say what is can you critique this video can you tell me how can I make it better mm -hmm. you never say tell me what's wrong is it tell them can you help me how to make it better and they will get you ideas. Don't apply all of their ideas. Give it a serious consideration. And then decide which one you wanna apply. And if you get confused, what do you do? I will generate two videos. You know how I generate videos? If you can stand here right now, you shout out your video, you will have the video in no time. You have your phone, just tape it. Don't buy even the stand. If you cannot afford buying a tripod, you can get a paint tape and the tape the phone on the wall. Stand by, make sure the screen is right, and just record yourself. It's not, it does not have to be sophisticated. Nowadays, what we start to notice as well is with the Facebook Live and all of this live streaming platform like Periscope and Snapchat, the, crowd, the public start to have more passion and more interest in homemade videos, mm -hmm. not in professionally produced videos. They click more with it, okay? They relate more to it. So, <clears throat> if you wanna stop, establish a credibility and you wanna have my ears, you need to articulate what value you can provide to me. And there are only three logical value for me to put my hand in my pocket, give you money. Okay? And remember, our class is what? Ignorant. Ignorant. So if I will tell you, I will get you more clients, it's not sufficient. I will get you a high, a high, a highly rate paying clients, it's good. I will help you making more money by attracting more clients and higher co and better quality clients than the one you have. You fulfill the logic. Does it make sense? In communication also, we look for the second layer. So this is the very first layer, the very first step. Because this particular crafting of messages are layers. You have one and then you try to make it better and better and better and better by adding more layers to it. So if I wanna add another layer here, I can have here what we call it hook. The hook will be the wow factor. It can be statistics. It can be an, a very strange statement. Okay? So, what kind of hook can you have? When I stand and uh, I had the experience one time, just to show you, like, if you know this sequence, you can do magic with it. I had one time a... Uh, uh, an experience that I was uh, requested to participate in a public speaking event. So they said there is this particular meeting and you come for preparation. So I went there and they said, we would like to, uh, we have lots of participants who are interested. So what we are doing now is a competition. I said, well, okay, so what, you, what do you need me to do? Can you go on the stage and speak about resilience? about what? 
Resilience. Do you know what's resilience? Yeah. Do you know what's resilience? Mm -hmm. I had to look Do you know what's resilience? Robert. What's called? I mean. What's called? Resilience. Resistance or resilience? Resilience. Resilience. Do not be ready to be flexible, to bounce back when you are. So, I stand it because I didn't know the word at the time. Yeah. Okay. I stand there for 10 minutes. I stand on the stage seven minutes and I was ranked the top speaker. In a topic, I don't even know what to talk about. I didn't know what the content. I have no structure, I have no logic. I don't know what should I talk about. What I did is I spent three to five minutes on Google, Googling few pieces of information. And I do have my own winning sequence which can sell anybody anything i plugged the in the basic structure it's a similar structure which i will share it with you in a few minutes i blocked the information i have inside my structure and i stand on the stage and all what i was looking for is just words to fill the template mm -hmm. so when they evaluate me they said it's very logical very clear but you need to adjust two things, which wasn't bad for somebody the first, the very first time ever understand the meaning of this word, ever. And this is the power of knowing these structures. So that's why I don't like the articulations. I don't like the citations. We are not here citing a Bible. No, it's not citation. Mm -hmm. So if you understand the logic, and you understand the template, all what you need to do is what? Selection of words. So if you be in a community of high school graduates, you can have words for them. If you be in a community of high professional engineers, if you be in a community of uh, single moms, if you be in a community of uh, business coaches or politicians, all what you need to do what is what? To plug, the, to plug in the right words, not to rethink and rewrite your whole pieces okay so do you agree on that mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> you are the expert well, you there. You I don't know play. so when you start a, when if you want to start strong you start to have a hook a hook the easiest hook exists are statistics hook you mean to, uh, to, to engage them to yeah engage the, the to audience, say writers. wow so if I'm going to stand here and say that 60% of high school graduates tried illegal drugs at least one, and the 80% of grade eight of grade eight have doing more than five times alcohol in a week. Did I grab your attention or not? Are you giving me real statistics? Yeah, these are real. These are real statistics. <laughs> If I stand here and say, <laughs> according to Statistics Canada, in 2012, 5% of Canadians made $84,000 or more. And the rest of them made less than $84,000. I'm grabbing your attention or not. Yes. So this is the kind of a hook. So the hook is something which is very clear. Okay, you start with the hook and then you fill the template. And what then after the hook, you start to articulate your value or what you do for customers. Mm -hmm. So when you have a hook and then you start to articulate the value or the info, you will be able to provide. So what? So if you are exposed to a different contest, what you wanna do? You wanna just look for new hook, that's it. You wanna have, articulate the value. You wanna have call to action, okay? Now, when I, when I do this sequence, where I will put my name? I love you, man. 
I love you, man. I love you. I learned something. I love you. I will put my name here. No, this is about you. Everything is yeah, about you. Like when you talk about the value, if you want to put some nuggets, I will show you a longer sequence. If you want to put some info nuggets or whatever, it's all you use the word you. You are the one who's suffering. You don't say entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs are suffering from, businessmen are suffering from. No, you are a businessman who is suffering. It's always about you. It's never about being a third party. It's not a third party and I will resonate to it to be me. I had a fellow yesterday who was giving a presentation and I wrote him seven pages, seven pages, comment of a stuff that should not happen in an, in an in a intro night presentation. And I told him the eighth page is when you are ready to write me a contract to show you how to fix what you have done. So just to share with you some of his experience of the experience I have he started to talk about this little one little kid when he was in Toronto and what happened with this little kid and how this little kid would feel bad and at the end he said and do you know who is this little kid it was me I said what the heck if you want to be engaged with you have sympathy and empathy to you what you what your cause and what you do connect your heart what you said at the beginning I was you don't say the little kid because the little kid is not you are the one who wants to connect with me not this little kid it's, to make it dramatic. it's not a dramatic you are trying to make it not engaging yeah. so when you come and say and you want to tell a story and I will share with you the, the simple level of template for sharing a story and I don't teach Terry may teach us more on how to articulate stuff from Toastmaster perspective what I'm saying is these are the sequences which will engage people. This some of these advanced sequences, what got you guys yesterday for two hours from nine to 11, and you did not complain. Okay? So this is a sequence. This is our blueprint sequence, whatever you wanna call it, layout, and you just fill this layout. You don't try to be creative. You don't stand and say, the, the English, uh, the black, uh, the black book, the black dictionary define this particular word as, and you start to tell a story. Because people will escape from you. You need engagement, you need connections. This is our sequences to sell, not as a hobby to entertain. So when I start, I have a hook. I talk about my values to you. I talk basically about my journey. from a sad face to a happy face. I will talk about the outcome here, what will happen to you here when you come through my journey. This is what I do for you, what my value to you, and all is about you, not me, as a speaker. What was the hook yesterday? No, yesterday, no, no, when you go to the workshops, the sequences are slightly different. But in the 90 minutes seminar, there was a hook. There was three hooks. Nowadays, when I sit in these presentations by anybody, and if I don't find a sequence, one of these many sequences I have, I stand up and leave. Because if a speaker has a message and a mission and fulfill a passion, we deserve as audience that the speaker invest in himself a little bit to be able to engage and connect with us. This mommy daddy trials, I'm not, I'm not interested. And I can, I, I, you'll be shocked, like, I go to the Entrepreneur Center and when these speakers will come, if they are not engaging, I stand up and leave. Because I know, this is not professional. When people come and say, you are a professional seller or a professional aggressive seller, this is actually a compliment. Because why you are professional? Because you invest in yourself to learn how to prove how to be at the level of professionalism in selling yes I may not like to be hard sold on something or being pushed over this is what's your view of them but you know what we have individuals who comes over and say oh you know this lady she gave us a full details about these vacuum cleaners 
and it is the best and she explained everything and she let us buy and what happened she's good, she good. good but the vacuum cleaner you can buy it at 30 percent price equivalent in home depot you know if you don't understand this i want to give you another example you like to get to, to this to yes so before you go to that yes sir i have a question yeah now you, you said that the name comes at the end not at the end the names comes here okay. the end is a call to action okay. and there is a little bit of space here so what when you say it comes there what do you mean with that is this now do you mean that the name as a your signature or you, you, you to introduce yourself to introduce yourself so you don't introduce yourself in the beginning no like you just start right away without knowing anything about you with the hook Yes. The value to offer, yes. the journey and the result, and then you say, oh, I am so-and-so, please. No, I am so-and-so, and there's something else here. I will talk about it later. But how can you engage them if they, they can't see, again, that's contradicting with other approach, in, in approach in, 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 in uh, uh, speaking to people, usually, especially if you are not known, okay, like the first time, like I met someone here in the corridor, or, or, and I want, the first thing I, I should tell him, or tell who I am? So who are you? Well, that's what I'm saying. So I, I who start are you? With my name. I start with my name. But before we go on this path of discussions, yeah, we will be friends, that's right? We will be what? We will be friends. So I will go with this dialogue with you, but you promise that you'll be my friend. After we finish this conversation, yeah. you will continue being my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But he wants to insult you. No, I don't <laughs> want to insult you. I want to ask you. I want to. I want to. I want to raise. I want to raise the question. We meet people always. No, no. Listen. I want to raise the questions yeah. from a possible leader, lead, or client mm. who is looking for a solution mm. and how his mind works. So you start. You so we'll be friends. So you start and say. So what do you want to say first? Not really complicated. Depends on now. Uh, again, I'm talking about the presentation that the, they call it the 90 second presentation. That which means this is to say it to anyone that you meet in the elevator, okay, the corridor, and the party, or okay. a network. You yeah. give it the beginning. You don't know if he's a client, yeah, that's he great. may be a client, he may not. Okay, what they tell you to do first, you start with your name. Why do I care about your name? Well, so in, in order that he wants to call you again, he knows what to call you. Order. When you call me, when you tell me. And we'll be friends, okay? I just I will show you this some of the stuff, yeah, okay. which is we talk about it from this 90 minutes, 90 second uh, elevator uh, pitch or presentation, yeah, yeah, yeah. which will get you nowhere. Okay. So we met at time zero. Okay, and I assume I have a pain. I have a question mark. I want to solve. I'm looking for a solution. And you told me your name. Why do I care about your name? Because as you said, we may we may meet again, and I need to know who. When are. will I decide if I want to meet with you again as a client? Because you know I love to meet with you anytime. Okay, we love each other. No, right? no, I know, I know. I'm yeah. So when I will decide as a client? Maybe in the future. Maybe. After. When in the conversation of ninety seconds I oh. will decide? At the end, when we reach the the, 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 the second ninety. When you reach eighty-five, uh, eighty. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine. Okay. Exactly. So when I reach here. I will need to know what? Your I name, will need to know business card your that. name yeah. and how to connect with you. Yeah. I don't need to know your name at the beginning. No. I don't, sorry to say, I don't care. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. You, you understand what I'm saying? What I need to know at the very beginning is you are a credible achiever who can help. I'm talking, Dr. Wayne, about meeting people in their business life in general. I understand. Not, not to go for a business appointment. Like I know, if I go specifically, and I need to know Dr. Wayne Al Badawi, just to sell him, I like maybe I would go with this approach. I agree. But I'm talking in general because the introduction, the 90 second, it's used a generic way to meet anyone. This anyone he can be, he can turn to be a friend, he can turn to be a client, he can turn to be an enemy. You don't know. But this is, this is the sequence. Yeah. This is the sequence which is proven to turn okay. sixty to ninety percent. Is this another hook? No, no, this is not another hook. This sequence 
if you don't get at least 20 w connecting with it, you have a problem in some aspect of it. Okay, if, if so if you try out this sequence yeah. for six weeks, yeah. and by the end of the six weeks, you don't uh, start to see conversion of 20 to 30% of your contact up to 90%, you are doing something wrong I here. I think uh, while what you are saying goes with uh, our common life experience, and I agree with you. Uh, look, uh, when you go uh, to a pub, you meet a new person. When you go to a resort, you a new person. And usually what it starts, it's a, it is a casual chat. And after the chat, at some point you extend your hand or he extends your hand, his hand, to shake hand and introduce yourself. Yeah. This is what happens. From the beginning, right, you don't say, I'm Michael Smith, mm -hmm. and then you start. You know what I mean? No, I, I, yeah, that's, but I can't also, uh, if I meet someone I don't know in the elevator, start talking about my qualities and my skills without even uh, an occasion, without a reason. Uh, yeah, usually people, they look for uh, something to break the ice, as you know. So usually they start, oh, I am, I And am the hooks, oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. The hooks and the, your credibility, it's what breaks the ice. Oh. It's not your name. Okay. My name is not important to you, okay. till a specific point. Yes. The most important part is you ask me, then what, here? After your name, you should have here your personal story. So when I go back to this sequence, I have a hook or I start with a value. So the, the hook can be optional. Okay. Then it's all about you, not me, because you are the audience. And I say, I am so-and-so. You can plug here your personal story. So if you plug your personal story here, which is your biography to a certain extent, but made it in a different way, you are telling me what? You are telling me, you can provide me this value, and all it's about me, you can help me in all of these ways. And that's you, and this is why I can help you. So you should call me. So if you go to my seminar, I never start with the title. As a matter of fact, when my partner started with putting the titles and putting the, their bios first, they had zero conversion for three weeks. I stop this comedy. This is the sequence which will work. We don't question why it works. We can we can speculate, we can try to understand why it works, but these is, are the sequence which works. This ninth, I'm not in a high school. You don't need to know my name. As a matter of fact, people with foreign names, like Terry, because Terry has a foreign name, people will have a hard time trying to relate to your name or even listen to you till they have interest. When they have interest, when they know, when they come to this point here. How to find it. Now they have, now you intrigue their interest. I have people I stand with, I talk to, and they come say, can you have your business card? Even this, dan but what the, even this dancer yesterday, when I met, it's a belly dancer. Mm -hmm. I take what a photo of her, and then I spoke to her for three minutes. What did you do to her? He After I went back, <laughs> She came to me, she said, would you mind, give me a contact, what's your name? I told her, instead of writing my name, here's my business card. Because when I stand with her, I said, you know what? Uh, she said, wh I said, uh, I, ha I do help individuals to be known in their profession. And I know in Calgary, there are, I know the other uh, one who runs the school, and um, she's a close friend of mine, so I said, I know there are so many belly dancers here, and many of you are doing it as a hobby, and they would like to be known. And I have mechanism and I work with people to make them search, to, to, be, to make clients find them online. And I help them with their online strategy. And if you like uh, any help, I'm more than happy to show you how it works. As just because we are helping the community. Can I have a selfie with you? So I took a selfie with her. I posted on my Facebook. I went back to my room, in my uh, table. And after she done with her meal, she came over to my table. She asked me, can I have your name? Can I have your name or contact? I said, okay, here's my business card. I'm sure you were the happiest man on. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm not taking from this perspective. What I'm taking from it is 
when you introduce your value and what you do and you map it to their business you map it to them they will be interested to know who you are so if you have a chance to say that's my name and over my career I did and you tell your personal story and I will explain to you how the personal story actually is structured okay stop agreeing with you you don't have to agree with me. Yeah. You use this stuff, you have to leave, you, we have to leave our ego, me included on no, the no, side. No, 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 no. We have to use this template, try it out, go out, shout it out to your, to your tribes, and see what they will say. So I had also to share with you a very interesting experience. There was somebody here in town I really admire as a, as a business coach. Very white hair, very wise age, hangs around everywhere. And I always ask people to come to evaluate my presentation skills for their feedback. So when he came and I gave the presentation in front of him, after that, uh, the intro night, he came to me and said, can I give you a couple of, a couple of advices? I said, you have only two comments for me? He said, yeah, mainly you have two issues. I asked what? He said, I would recommend that you start with the title and tell us who you are first. I, I shake his hand and said, thank you very much. I appreciate your comment. I always acknowledge it yeah. and work on it. And since then, I stopped going to the meeting this guy attends. Because now I know that this guy and his friends are not professional. Because my name is not important. No, it's not. My PhDs, my degrees, my professorship, my whatever. I go around and people say, oh, why did not that tell them that you have a PhD? I said, it will actually create a barrier. It will create a barrier. It's all the time. It only will not create a barrier when you need to say it. When the client or the audience are waiting to know that, or they ask for it. Sometimes when we go in this uh, very interesting clothes and go around and talk and we, ha we, ha we mangle with so many and say, say, oh, you should tell them you're an engineer. You should tell them, why? If you wanna hook them, if you wanna engage them as clients, you wanna reduce the barrier. Does it make sense? Yes. Have you ever heard this structure before? Yeah. When you hang around with, with, with people who build Trumps and brands like Trump brands, this is the stuff we talk about. So when you, that's why it's very important when you apply these sequences, even in, in a show or in a seminar or whatever, it's very important what will be said about you as introduction to you. So if I go around with uh, Ken, or I go networking with anybody, I usually don't, don't go networking with one guy, with myself. I usually try to figure out somebody, I take him with me, or I meet him over there. And he knows me, and I know him. So when we stand against one guy, it will be two of, each, two of us knows each other, and this guy doesn't know us. So if we, t if we play this game right now, whatever we will say to this guy, he will affirm it because there are two against one. So he has to agree with it. So the hook, the hook could be just a simple problem to find, a simple short problem up front to catch their attention? Yes. Okay. So the hook can be a simple problem to find. It can also be... Uh, a strong statistics, a weird statistics. Something to catch their attention. Something unusual. Because yeah, you only have like five seconds or so. And if you are a politician, you don't need your statistics. Doesn't need to be real. Correct. <laughs> yeah, but remember, politicians are not. We are here looking to sell. Yeah. yeah. And the sell means joining my program or even getting an email. Uh, 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 follow up or even like sell does not mean at the end of the day having cash. But there is a call to action has to be made. Okay? So whenever you stand and present yourself, you don't start with your name. As a matter of fact, if I have a video clip for you, your name will be written. That's right, my friend. You can write the name on the video clip. Exactly. Yeah. Like you see right now, uh, yesterday, Underneath. Art William, whose name is there. Yeah. Who said he's Art William? Is the introducer, not yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So 
this is a sequence which, as I said, these are the sequence which sells. Full stop. We cannot challenge them. We cannot ask them why they sell. We can try to understand some of the logic behind them, some of the feelings behind them. Okay, last question on this. I, I know, again, I, I'm 90% agree with you now. This way of approaching people, is it for everything or just only if you, if you, if, you, if the business or making business is the intention of selling money? No, it's 